We headed for the Shanghai Huncha Airport at 5 a.m. in the morning on Sunday the 28th. Our plan was to arrive at the school, Tambo Elementary or Tambo Xiaoxue, in the afternoon in order to set up the computer lab before the school that following Monday. Hence, upon arrival at Baoyun Airport in Guangzhou, the team raced to school prepping the materials required along the ride. The trip to the destination was about three hours by car. As we peered out the windows, we could see the gradual transition from urban to rural to undeveloped third world villages. On the road, we met up with Summer, the founder of Shining Star and a partner who we had worked with to coordinate the trip. She was to be our guide throughout these three days and help us communicate with the locals as none of our team members knew fluent Cantonese. We arrived at the school around 4 p.m. where we were kindly greeted by the principal of the school. The principal sat us down in his office, face full of excitement. <laughs> He's been working at the school for about eight years or so, and since his commissionment, has initiated a great change. Electricity, books, curriculum, and so much more were implemented due to his passion and vigor. However, despite his efforts, the lack of local infrastructure and resources has left him and his seven employee teachers in a dilemma, having to rely on NGOs and other communities for support. With their help, the school campus has already prepared for a computer lab with added power lines and signal, but was lacking the most essential component of a computer lab, the computers. Therefore, our mission marked a crucial milestone in the modernization and further growth of the school. At around 4.30 p.m., we received the FedEx-sponsored truck, perfectly on schedule. As the doors to the trunk opened, revealing our packages, we were reminded of how far we had come on this project. We received these computers back in September of 2022 and had originally planned for these computers to be shipped to a remote location school in Nepal. However, when we made our way through the mountain of paperwork, we were shut down by COVID restrictions and mass international shipping issues. Following this, we redirected our attention to an international scale, finding Tanbu Elementary through our connections to Shining Star, a local NGO. In the months leading to the trip, the Envision team had worked tirelessly to coordinate the shipment with FedEx, update software and refurbish the hardware on all these devices, prepare lesson plans and research and understand the culture and status of the province. The next morning, our team was woken earlier than expected by the obnoxious cries of roosters. Our team jolted awake with the energy and excitement. Today was the day. The computer lab would finally officially open and the children would get to use the technology for the first time. After an early breakfast, we headed to school. As we peeked into the gate, we caught sight of the little children running around with boundless curiosity and energy. After a few seconds of observation, our eyes met with one of the children in the crowd. Word quickly spread between the little groups of children as they charged towards us. The excitement put forth indeed took us by surprise. We even got to participate in their opening ceremony. Music soon began to blast out of the speakers and the students' dance team eagerly scooted into formation and began their performance. Anyways, after the break ended, we went back to the school and we found that every student was so eager to learn what was next. Yes, all the students were so very eager to get to their seats to begin their lesson. Simply delivering the computers and setting up a digital classroom was not enough. Before the trip, we wanted to meet up several times to put up a set of enriching lesson plans that directly addressed the needs, skill level, and interests of the students. The requirements were straightforward. We needed something simplistic, encouraging, and would keep the students engaged for 80 straight minutes in a 36 degrees Celsius classroom. Which was not exactly easy to accomplish. We sought feedback from Summer and her teacher instructors, and we edited many versions of the plan to ensure the best outcome. For the next hour, we started by introducing the basics of a computer through presentation slides projected onto a heavily taped white cloth. What we thought was elementary knowledge of the computer was explained to the kids, the cursor, the enter button, the delete button, and the space bar, etc. 
Unfortunately, these were mostly pre-considered in our designed lesson plans, and the students picked up very quickly. They were patient and attentive as we walked them through the basics of using a computer. It was truly inspiring to see the enthusiasm and curiosity with which the students approached this new technology. Part of our lesson consisted of 30 minutes of the students exploring on their own. We showed them how to open pages, how to access the icons and shapes of the pages, and set them off on their own creating a piece of artwork using those tools that demonstrated themselves. Their creation was stunning. Honestly, I didn't even think I could have created something like that. Not to mention, for most of them, it was their first time putting their hands on a computer. Throughout this entire trip, we've been blessed to have such engaging students. Other than having such an interactive lesson, the children interested in our group with a friendly game of basketball after the lessons. Although we felt unsure of our skills, but with the warm welcome and encouragement of the other players, they, it convinced us to give it a try. Through this teaching experience, I was able to develop new skills and insight, gaining a deeper appreciation for the importance of education and the power of technology to make a positive impact on the lives of others. I also had the opportunity to develop my leadership skills and to work collaboratively with my peers and the students, learning to communicate effectively and engage with individuals from diverse backgrounds and cultures. Alongside with being a member of the trip, I was also the photographer of the trip. Although I was hidden behind a 24 to 70 millimeter variable zoom lens for most of the trip, uh, whenever I put down the camera, I was always hit by swarms of passionate children. Some would try to get me to look at their new creation, some would try to get me to teach them math, and some would even try to wrestle a camera on my hands and take it for their own spin. Though this trip was ending, for all those children, a new journey was beginning. And whenever they entered that computer lab, in every dream and opportunity, realized from that point on, we would always be there, partners in possibility. Our work was done, but in a way, it was just a start. We had planted the seeds that would soon grow and spread in inconceivable ways. Our vision was now a reality. I could not wait to dream ahead for Envision's 2024 mission. Ultimately, partners like FedEx and Concordia are what make it possible for us to change lives. By providing tools of education and connectivity, you've given us the gift of possibility and hope. On behalf of the Envision team and the communities we serve, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you for your tremendous support.